All right, everybody, welcome to episode 181 of Christian Michael's Figure Review. And today we are unboxing, boom, Legion of Collectors, DC's Most Wanted. I tried and I tried to stay away from spoilers, but for whatever reason, these boxes take forever and a day to get to me. And everybody's already got their box. So I found that one item that was in it. And I am so excited for it. So let's just crack them open and find out what the rest of the items are. I'm very excited for the pop in this box. All right, let's open it up here. Here you can see, ooh, what the heck? We got the artwork there. Penguin, Lex Luthor, looks like the Joker in the corner. You can see the artwork on these boxes are great. Now where's the, uh, there's no opening flap that has the pin and the patch on it anymore. Instead, it's just in here. The patch this month is Black Manta. Can't say I'm too familiar. I've seen the character before. I couldn't tell you uh, who his arch nemesis is, you know, what comic uh, line he's from. But there's the patch. And what we have here, we have a Joker luggage tag. A pop Joker luggage tag. So that's pretty cool. If you're going away on a trip, just throw the Joker on your luggage and put your address on the back. So that's pretty neat. Also, we have here, uh, I don't know if these are stickers or tattoos uh, or what, but we have Sinestro, Harley Quinn. There's the aforementioned Black Manta and uh, Deathstroke. Did I say Sinestro? I couldn't remember if I said him or not, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if these are stickers, tattoos, or uh, maybe they're like fat heads where you can peel them off and put them on your wall, but we'll find out. Alright, here we go with the t-shirt. Most Wanted. There you go. And there you can see the Joker, Lex Luthor, uh, Captain Cold, Sinestro... Some other dude that I'm not too familiar with up on the top there. So, this is neat. Uh, it's kind of in red and black, kind of like devilish, like Halloween colors. So, that's cool because uh, we're only a few weeks away, if you believe it or not, from Halloween. And I do like that they did it in a regular art and not pop art because, you know, sometimes the, um, the t-shirts in pop art, they're nice concepts, but they're not really anything that I would ever wear. So, I'm glad that they did this one like this. So, that was cool. And, ooh, two pops. I believe the last three uh, Marvel slash DC boxes I've gotten have all had two pops in it. So, the Wonder Woman box had two pops. The, what was the last, uh, oh, the first appearance of Avengers was the last Marvel box. And here we go with, this is the pop I did not know about. This is Lex Luthor uh, with his mech suit. So there you can check him out right there. Lex Luthor. So you got a Superman villain. It's pretty neat. And here is the one that I have been so excited for since I found out that he was in here. Bane. That's right. Bane. He is just so menacing, so badass. So excited to have him. Awesome, awesome pop. Just look at him, cracking his knuckles, ready to break the bat's back. And if you take a look at the back, it's a two-person set. Bane and Lex Luthor, so there you go. Very cool, very excited to have Bane. Lex isn't a bad one, but I'm not really a Superman guy, but, you know, I might keep him. Definitely keep him Bane, though. All right, let's take a look at what's up in November's box. It is... Unite the League. Of course, they should have the next box cover Justice League, so we'll definitely be keeping our subscription through that to see what um, Justice League goodies are in store for us. So, let's take a look at the back. Alright, they're talking here about the uh, Lex Luthor pop. It says, this theme has a dual meaning. It started as a way to feature some of DC's most requested pops, so most wanted. There you go. Uh, you get two of them inside this box, so it's the most wanted from the customer 
as well as highlighting some of DC's most dangerous villains. All right, then it says on the bottom here, this is the first pop of Lex Luthor that Funko has created. We chose the mech suit version to make it extra special in the sculpting phase. So I didn't know that this was the first like this Luthor pop, so that's pretty cool. Um, art for the, this is now the Bane pop. Art for this pop was chosen for the original art of Bane. All right, Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan originally created Bane along with Doug Monch, M-O-E-N-C-H, for the Nightfall storyline back in 1993. And if you want a little uh, history on Bane, he spent his childhood and early adult in prison, serving out his father's sentence. Even though he was in prison, he developed extraordinary skills and transformed himself into a supervillain. So, there you can see what came in the box right there. So, neat little history of Bane. Gives you the reasoning behind um, the pops we got. And here we go. It says, based on customer feedback, we're mixing up some of the products in this box. This is why this box features a sticker set instead of an enamel pin. Stay tuned to more product offerings. And, all right, so that's pretty cool. Some people got a pin and some people got a sticker set. So not bad. It's It's... You know, switch it up. You know, everybody gets something different as long as you don't vary the pops because I think that's what everybody is really getting these boxes for. It's cool to switch up some of the, I guess you would say, lesser items in the box. Um, here it says, we initially planned on changing out both the patch and the pin in this box, but when we saw the design of the patch, we had to include it. All right, so Black Manta is the most well-known villain of Aquaman. I did not know that, and now I do. And this is the first time stickers have been included in a Funko box. This was this was also a new art style as well, done by one of her Funko artists, Greg Ham. So there you go. Oh, I thought that was Aries, and it is. I didn't want to say the wrong name, and that is Aries at the top of the T-shirt. So that is that. So um. Normally, these cards, they just tell you what's in the um, box. They don't give you too much information on how and why things came about. But a very informative card this month about how they got to the pops and, you know, switching out the uh, pin for the stickers. So, pretty cool. Obviously, my favorite item in this box is the Bane Pop. So, really, really awesome. Pretty cool box overall. Um, so, I'm very happy with this edition of... DC Legion of Collectors. So that'll wrap. Let's wrap up episode 181. And thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore N Y Y S T. You know, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. And we'll see you in the next episode.